Hey kids, good morning. <laughs> it's a long morning. So, welcome to the Scale Culture. And on last week's episode, I flew the Roban Bell 407 with the long line and the NASA GPS puck. And it worked out great. But I also was like, what the hell's wrong with this thing? It was all over the place. Went and looked into the expo and I had it the wrong way. Now I thought I had changed it before. So I'm gonna go back into it today and make sure it's the right way, you know, kind of flatter in the middle instead of steeper. And we're gonna see if that is gonna change how it flies. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> and a good morning to you too. Mm. Costco chocolate chip muffins. Mm. Yum. I looked last week and this thing looked like that. I had it at, at like 20, 20 or so. And it was on a negative. But I remember turning it to where it was out here. So we're gonna we're gonna do it like that today and make sure that that it is there. So we'll see. It'll be a good test because it's a it's a little windy. We're waiting for some aircraft to take off, but yeah, look at that wind. It's kind of out there, so we'll see how well this actually does. So we're gonna see if my expo actually went the right way, and we'll see if a forty is too much. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, 40 is a little too much. I'm swinging the sticks. Let's get this. That's not good either. So I was in the right direction. I just. Battle one. I need to fix it. All right. Let's go in here. Fine tuning. Digital Expo. Go to elevator, let's drop this down to like 30. Now we'll go 25. Okay, and then aileron. Drop this down to 25. Okay. Rudder will leave at 40. Because I, I, I don't like a big to do uh, rudder. That was kind of odd. Took it a while to get it spooled up. Now it's like really, it's more like where I usually have it. It's actually a little less sensitive than what I'd like it to be. So I will drop that down to 25. So let's get into a hover. Hover. Okay, so now we're in GPS. See how it holds here in this wind. It's a little bit all over the place, but it's kind of windy. You can look at that sock over there. Let's get this up. So I'm not holding anything. I'm just going to see, see how it does on the bucket. Right at mid stick. Covering good. I'm gonna bring this thing down and I think I'm a little gonna move forward a little bit. Gonna bring it down. See where the where the bucket is. Just behind it, okay. Let's raise it back up. I'm just barely bumping the stick. And let's see. Oh, just off to the side. Of course, I am off to the side. 
Now I'm right over it. Just behind it. Scoot forward just a little bit. It is, it is making lots of, well, lots of little adjustments on the Naza. Oh, right behind it again. God damn it. Well, the wind must be blowing it back a little bit. See, now you can actually watch the bucket. I'm on it. So I did that without <laughs> looking at the helicopter. <laughs> that is funny as shit. Now let's, nobody's flying right now, so let's, let's do a round in GPS. See how well it, how well it flies. Nice and slow. Not touching the collective at all, just the yaw and the sticks. Just a gentle, gentle push forward. If I let go of the sticks, comes to a stop. Sitting right there. It's moving around a little bit. I think the H1 does a little bit better job of holding. But. So we got one minute, so I'm going to... 50 seconds. We're going to... I don't want to tax these batteries, so... We're going to... Land. This is all in GPS mode, too. 30 seconds. And you'll hear it when I flip it into... Normal mode. Normal. Ah. <laughs> Gotta get used to it again. Have a one. <laughs> so yeah, totally cheating. <laughs> I was able to actually watch the bucket, put it on the freaking pad, and call it good. So yeah, totally cheating. Fun as hell, totally cheating. <laughs> All right, I haven't touched. <laughs> this is a pretty damn good back and forth. I didn't do it like I did last week where I actually <laughs> put it on her. I did this with the helicopter. That's not bad. I like it. <laughs> but it was done in GPS mode, so I was totally cheating. <laughs> Let's. Go back in here and let's put the dual rates down even lower because it was still not sensitive enough. So we're going to put that one at 20. Put the aileron down here at 20. And we'll, the pitch was way more sensitive, so let's up that. Put that up at 30 because it was really sensitive on pitch so we'll see how that works all right we're gonna take this back out and we're gonna oh god i'm getting old i go out here and see if my stuff actually made a difference so i went <laughs> i went from 40 to 25 on the expo down to 20 and we'll we'll see how much of a change that makes and, and the, oh god oh. we'll see how much that does gotta hook up the uh, gotta hook up the thing and see if I, can, I don't know if this is gonna show up on the video or not i gotta twist my head just the right way there we go all right now we'll see oh jesus christ god i'm getting old all right we're gonna test this out again 
See if we can. Order two. Heading hold. All right. So this is all manual mode. Yeah, that's a little better. Sensitive enough. Oh, gotta land. Ah, Jesus Christ, come on. Maybe I need less than 20. Five minutes. Yeah, when I want to get it down, I'm trying to... Come on, damn it. Out of one. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, while we're here, waiting for somebody to come in. Drop it down to 15. So this is all manual mode. And you see I'm, I'm staying way out of the way of the guys flying. Getting a swing going. So definitely you don't pay attention to your guys. Yeah, it is a little windy up there. I really cannot see the thing. <laughs> I don't like cheating. All right, I don't like not cheating. <laughs> Just to stop swinging. Yeah, it is really windy. Let me come down and see where I'm at. I'm off to the edge. Okay. That is really weird how that this motor is now going back and forth now. Man, it is. a little better on the sensitivity I'm able to control it a little bit better not much but come on damn it it's almost like I have too much agility in the NASA it wants to go now I'm flip it okay now I'm in GPS mode and it's just gonna sit there. <laughs> I don't like not cheating. Because <laughs> now I can actually see where the, where the thing is. All I gotta do is bump it forward a little bit. Yeah, cheating is so much better. Look at that, even sitting up. <laughs> oh man, that's nice. You can kind of relax with your hands and have some fun with it. But when you flip out of GPS mode, you gotta be almost going up on your thing. 
Because when you flip out. Normal. Now we're in normal. Okay. I'm in hang all uh, GPS mode. So we're gonna we're gonna do the coil again. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Seconds. Normal. Ten. Nine. Oh. Eight, ah, come on, damn it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. It is really two, windy. One. Oh, that was horrible. Five one. <laughs> I don't like not cheating anymore. <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough for today. We'll go home and we'll, we'll, we'll look at all the... Rake mode. We'll look at the uh, footage and see how bad we did. So when I got back, I looked at the percentages of the two batteries. The first packs were my 6,000s. Uh, 6,000s, yeah, more like 4,500s. Um, those had 16% left and my actual 5,000s that are closer to a 5,000 had almost 30% left in them with the same amount of flying and whatnot. Although the second flight did have a stop in it where I landed. So that's probably why it's up around 30 now that I think about it. So, yeah. But it's all good. So, it's... Cheating? Yes. Fun? Absolutely. <laughs> Get out and build something.